how do you interpret the Bible and stuff like that. And the Catholic service, I didn't even see a Bible. I, I it will instruct you on just mm, how you can be a better Christian, how you can do what you're supposed to Hold on. This is part two, and I'm already lost, but let's keep going on and see what he has to say. Supposed to be doing. It will teach you about the Bible. What does the Bible say? How do you interpret the Bible? And stuff like that. <sighs> and the Catholic service, I didn't even see a Bible. I, I, I looked there. I didn't see any Bible. The only Bible that there was was the preachers. So. Do you mean that golden book that gets processed around? the sanctuary uh just like the ark of the covenant um because in that gold plated codices lies the word of god and in that gold plated box lies the word of god but carry on and i should also make a note the room was smoky because of that ember thing so the entire room smelled strange it wasn't like normal smoke it, it had a weird smell to it it's called incense it was used in the old testament it was used in the new testament and we are commanded to use it even under the new covenant let your prayers go up as the incense ascends towards the angels or did i just make that one up i i i don't know oh wait no i didn't wake that one up that one's from the apocalypse of john but, so that continued the, the singing and then the one verse, then the singing in one verse. In total, it lasted about three hours. There were also some baptisms at the very end. There was a baptism, and that was just like sprinkling water over the head. It wasn't a... Can any Roman right Roman Catholic tell me how long a Mass lasts? Because I don't think it lasts three hours. Ours do. And as for sprinkling water on top of the head's child, now we do not practice this. We practice something called immersion, where you are immersed in the name of the Father, immersed in the name of the Son, immersed in the Holy Spirit, immersed. And um, the babies in the Eastern Orthodox Church, there's I've seen footage of women chopping up the ice at the baptismal fount so they can baptize them because babies naturally hold their breath. Now, there was, a, there was a book called the Didache that predated, predated most of the New Testament and said, um, if you can't do this, then do that. If you can't find this, then find that. If you can't find this, then find that. Finally, until the sprinkling of the water on the head being a fully vo valid form of baptism. Full body submersion. And what else? Oh, Communion was also a little bit different. It was weird because I wasn't allowed to have communion because I wasn't a Catholic. So uh, you just like cross your arms and then the priest will bless you, but you can't actually take the... The, the Eucharist. The little bread stuff. Um, even though St. Paul talks about you consuming it to your own condemnation. Hmm. I guess Paul was joking around because it wasn't actually body and blood of Christ. It was just, you know, something to scare little children with, right? Just like heaven and hell and the resurrection. I, do you reject those? This is, um, doesn't seem like, uh, it seems like you're more anti-Catholic than you are, or, or, you, than you are Christian. Or drink of the wine. I don't know if it's wine or grape juice, because I, I didn't get to try it. But uh, there was no such thing as grape juice before the Welch's Company, just over a hundred years ago. Take freshly squeezed grape juice and put it outside, or put it in direct sunlight for about six hours. You've got an alcoholic beverage there, pal. But the, the communion worked pretty much the same way as Protestants. You just take the little bread and then drink the wine. One huge difference. One is that you are doing it to show off to God how loyal you are. The other, the traditionalist view, is um, you're, you, in obedience to God, 
take the Eucharist and the body and blood of Christ um, so that there will be no doubt that you have joined yourself to Christ. And there is only one elect, and that's Christ, and he is going to be with the Father in paradise. And um, so you will be too. There's your promise fulfilled in totality. I mean, that, that was the same, same thing, but it was very... No, maybe superficially, but no, it wasn't. Much more ritualistic, less... I, I, I was amazed about this, the sermon. There was no sermon. It was just singing, and one, one person would read one passage from the Bible. And that... Of course. Sermons. What a horrible thing. Now that's man just preaching his own, uh, his own, his own, uh, pomp and ego. The shorter, the shorter the homilies, the shorter the, the shorter the speaking services, the better. How many times have I heard, oh, you've got to visit my Pentecostal church. We have the great, greatest preacher. That is, that my friend is called idolatry and heresy. I hope you see the light one day. That was about it. Like, one passage, sing. One passage, sing. And the, the passages were completely disconnected to each other. There was no overarching theme. Show Especially me. Especially for Easter, I would assume that there would be an overarching theme. Show me. To the, to the service, but there there wasn't really. Show me. That I could tell. Perhaps there was, but I couldn't I couldn't make it, it out. So yeah. Easy enough to have a program and just put in the, uh, where they had these uh these dis disjointed passages i and i asked this sincerely please show me yeah that was my experience with catholic church service it was a good learning experience i'm glad i went it was the church was beautiful the icons and like jesus and mary and everything in the background that was pretty it was also good to it was it was a good feeling to be able to the Roman Catholic Church do not have icons. Be connected with something so old, and it's what to... First great thing he has said all, all night. Awesome. Praise God, I'm so happy that you feel that way. 2,000 years, the traditions that, they, that we were participating in were over 2,000 years old, and so that was kind of yeah. cool that I was able to take part in that tradition, in that I culture, mean. in that... that that practica, the practice. Ah, uh, just be part of that. The praxis. Yeah, tradition. Tradition, and yes. So that was cool. I don't know if I'll go back. Perhaps I will, but probably not. My next goal is I want to go to a an Islamic mosque, and I also want to go to a Jewish synagogue. That would I be went good. to a mosque and, and a synagogue. Perhaps other religions and I can go and see what they're all about so anyways thank you guys for watching this video if you have any suggestions on where you think I should go I'll definitely go to an Islamic mosque and a Jewish synagogue but other religions that you think might be interesting I, I don't know if I want to experience some Asian religions but I I don't really know of any places that I could go that practice any Asian religions, but Syriac I'll Church keep of my the eyes East. open, and if I do go to a new place, I will definitely be sure to let you guys know how it went, what went on, and yeah, so subscribe, and my name is Tim Grant, T-I-M-G-R-A-N-T, all right, I will see you guys later, bye. Mr. Grant, uh, I feel I need to, I must speak with you before you attend a mosque, especially a synagogue, but especially a mosque. I must talk to you soon, ASAP. Peace to you.